in this video I will discuss how to reduce the short circuit level short circuit current in a power system network here is a power system network let's check one example suppose for this motor for this motor this is 200 kilowatt motor 200 kilowatt motor and if you see the starting current lock total current is 600 percent that means six times of full load current let's add a cable here because it will be connected this motor will be connected with the 415 volt switch gear by cable connection let's consider as bus motor terminal okay so for this cable let's say this is 50 meter go to library to quick pick I will select this suppose 3 core 150 square mm cable number of conductor 1 it's okay so this cable is 50 meter length single run 3 core 150 square mm now let's go to the short circuit run the short circuit study case let's check the short circuit current and this motor okay uh, one thing I need to create fault in all the bosses Now let's run once again. This means that we are creating a fault here at motor terminal. It may be at motor terminal box also. okay that's fine so here this is 19 kilo amps at motor terminal this fault level is 19.482 19.482 kilo amps let's display the cable show here is the cable size also sorry cable and also the length so this is 50 meter cable single run 3 core 150 square mm for that short circuit current is coming 19.482 kilo amps if we want to reduce this short circuit fault level at motor terminal of 200 kilowatt motor this is one of the way we can do we can increase the cable length here keeping the same cable size so now it is 19.482 kilo amps let's just 
change the length here suppose 1 kilometer cable and the cable size is same let's run this so previously it was 19.482 kilograms now let's see what value we are getting Okay, now it is coming 3.459 kilograms. So the short circuit current at motor terminal is drastically reduced from 19.482 kilograms to reduced to 3.459 kilograms only by changing increasing the cable length. Okay, so this is one of the way one of the ways to reduce the short circuit current now we will discuss about the alternative way that is using a transformer in between these two suppose this back to 50 meter and we'll insert a transformer here So 415 volt by 415 volt that means 1 is to 1 ratio transformer. I am using here typical Z and XYR values. Principal tap. Okay. Let's check the grounding also. Delta star solidly grounding. I want to show the symbols. So delta star transformer. So in case of 50 meter cable length, the short circuit level was 19.482 kilo amps. If you can remember. Now let's run once again. Let's see the short circuit level here. I have not really changed the cable length only thing I have done I have inserted one transformer here okay so this is now 13.198 kilograms 13.198 kilograms so previously it was 19.482 kilograms now this short circuit current is reduced to 13.198 kiloamps. So this is another alternative option how you can reduce the short circuit level. It may be applicable for motor, it may be applicable for any other place for 415 volt switch gear level or at 6.6 kV level or any other higher voltage level also it may be applicable for the main incomer to the switchboard it may so you can apply this same principle where you want to in reduce the short circuit level and another one is the third option you can use that is using the current limiting reactor CLR. If you use current limiting reactor in the bus, this bus coupler 
or in the probably in the incoming supply side then the short circuit level for the entire network will be reduced and there is a fourth option which is the limit using the IS limiter IS limiter you can use ABB IS limiter it will reduce the short circuit current during normal operation current will flow okay but during uh, the fault condition the current will be bypassed through a in through a integrated that installed current limiting fuse so that will help to reduce the short circuit level so these are the ways how you can reduce the short circuit current in a power system network.